First tonight, mapping the flood. Just hours ago, leaders in Sarasota County shared what buildings are most at risk to storm surge and floods. This after a historic storm left streets looking like this last month. For the very first time, every county and city in Florida is identifying their most vulnerable structures under a new state mandate. Those who came out in Sarasota told 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst they are preparing for the worst. I want to see how close everything is to my hand. Braving a thunderstorm, Stephen Venditti wanted to see for himself. See, see, he's right here. I'm back in here someplace. That's why I didn't see any type of streets, but it's all blue. Okay. <laughs> Not good. What engineers think will happen to his home in the future when you combine sea level rise, tidal flooding, and heavy rain? We're living in a lap of luxury down here. Let's let's make it work. We can make things better. The Resilient Florida program is funding grants for counties and cities to continue studying where the water will go by 2040 and 2070. What buildings must be retrofitted or saved and later what to pay for first and how. Getting our list of projects that we really feel are going to make a big impact and that we have the design and that we have the reason for and really going after and implementing those projects. Our house is on that pond right there. High and dry, baby. <laughs> 70 years from now. In addition to seeing these maps of the areas of unincorporated Sarasota most vulnerable, the county took feedback to fine tune their list of buildings in danger. If you noticed a, a bathroom at a beach is built higher and it's built with vents at the bottom so it can flood and it will drain. But it's not just the beach. Some inland areas of Sarasota top the priority regions, surprising engineers. There's a lot of impacted areas along the rivers and further inland in the county. Meaning everyone here must now figure out how to prepare for the future and how to afford it. In Sarasota County, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. And people interested in seeing those maps and the vulnerability assessment can visit our website, 10tampabay.com.